perfumes that I will be wearing for the beginning of autumn. I class September as a transitional period or season. So during this month you're going to have days when it's really warm, sunny, bright and then in the evenings you receive that chill, it's a little bit colder. I have perfumes to reflect the transition and I wanted to start off with this one here. This is white sandalwood. I don't think I've spoken that much about this fragrance because this is relatively new to my collection. I may have bought this perfume about three months ago or so. This is White Sandalwood by Goldfield and Banks. I would say this sandalwood is quite aromatic with notes of saffron, there's pepper, there's thyme in here as well. We have the blend of amber and sandalwood, rose and sandalwood. Something unique about this perfume as well, I would tend to wear this as more of an evening scent. White sandalwood is a perfume I'm going to want to wear when the weather starts changing, there's a chill in the air, and it's smelling fairly cozy, this one. The white sandalwood is cozy, creamy, so I'm really looking forward to wearing this one. This is Gris Chanel by BDK. This is the perfect transitional perfume. It's a perfect daytime fragrance if you're looking for a signature scent. I do recommend Gris Chanel. This is notes of cardamom, there's fig, there's sandalwood and iris. I pick up a lot of iris in this perfume on my skin. That's the most long lasting note. The performance on this is great. I love how it projects and I do recognize people wearing this in the city. People walk past me and I'm like, yes, they're wearing Gris Chanel. It's a powerful perfume that leaves a great sillage. And I like it because it's clean, it's fresh, it's easy to wear. Like I said, it's a perfect daytime or signature scent. And it smells cozy. There's something comforting, warming. It smells like the season. It doesn't have that bright, fresh or sweet smell. It's more like a neutral scent. It just smells like your skin or like a comforter. It smells really cozy. And I think this is perfect for when the weather is changing now and it's getting a little bit chilly, you're looking for a fragrance that suits the autumn, then I highly recommend. Or oh, tea, it smells clean, it's figgy, and lots of iris on my skin. With this one with the sandalwood, I think it's really beautiful smelling, so that's Gris Chanel. Um, the start of autumn would not be complete without one of my favorite fragrances. This is Angelique Noir by Guerlain. I absolutely love this vanilla based perfume. It has notes of angelica, which turns this fragrance more into a green vanilla. Notes of pear as well, so it adds a bit of that crisp, sparkly touch. And I just think it's gorgeous. It's just a beautiful vanilla that's unique, a little bit dark and deep at the same time, but green. You have some woody notes in here as well. The vanilla in here is just really beautiful. I tend to wear this all throughout the day. I think this is gorgeous as a transitional perfume. Angelique Noir could also be your signature scent if you're looking for something that is vanilla based, but it smells unique. It's not highly sweet. You have pear, you have pink pepper, you have angelica. So it's not so sweet, um, but you have that vanilla, it's creamy. And then the woody notes in here as well. I just love how this smells. It's beautiful for this time of year. I haven't worn this perfume in such a long time. And I would have to say fall is one of my favorite seasons as well. I get to wear a mixture of my florals and some warmer notes. And this is one I highly recommend. If you like a sweet perfume that doesn't smell sweet, it has that vanilla creaminess to it then I highly recommend Angelique Noir. This perfume has to be the best new release by Chanel this year. I fell in love with this perfume when I first tried it. It's absolutely beautiful. This is Comet by Chanel. I absolutely love this fragrance. It's exactly what I was looking for. I wanted something that was soft, powdery, musky, but it has a sweetness. And I think this is the very first time Chanel has a perfume that is actually very sweet. So this perfume opens up with cherry blossom notes. There's aldehyde in here. There's also musk, iris. Comet is really beautiful. That iris, heliotrope, the musk in here is really pretty. And the way how this perfume is blended, it gives this tonka bean creamy sweetness to the perfume. It has like an almond sweet note in here, which I just think is gorgeous, balanced with that aldehyde. So it's fluffy, musky. This is, for me, the perfect scent to wear during the autumn. It just smells cozy, comforting, soft, 
fluffy, feminine and elegant all at the same time. I would wear this as a daytime scent. I could dress this up in the evenings as well. I highly recommend Comet if you're looking for a fragrance that's powdery, soft and sweet. That cherry blossom notes mixed with the heliotrope and musk smells a little bit like almonds or tonka bean. It has that creamy vanilla-like note to it as well. This is just perfect. This is something I'd want to wear like during the daytime. I just think it's really pretty. So that's Comet by Chanel. If you're looking for a beast mode perfume, then this one could just be for you. This is Fleur de Peau by Diptyque. Fleur de Peau is based on aldehyde, musk, ambrette, sandalwood, angelica. Wow, this smells like a powder puff. You know, it smells really soft, clean, a little bit fresh as well. It smells like you just stepped out of the shower and you're putting lotion on your skin and your skin is so soft and supple and you're wearing a little bit of baby powder. And what I love about this fragrance is that the way how it smells. Wow, when you smell this, it smells like sifted powder or a powder puff. And you know sometimes when you're putting your makeup on, you put some powder on your face and a little bit of the dust sort of tickles your nose. That's what you get with this one. It's clean, fluffy, easy to wear, but this is a beast mode fragrance. It's soft, but it performs very well and it's so strong, beautiful sillage, very clean and easy, everyday signature scent as well. So that's Fleur de Peau by Diptyque. One of my favorite perfumes is Oriana. I love this fragrance all year round powdery, soft, milky touch. This fragrance smells gorgeous in the autumn. It's fruity, it's playful, it's a daytime scent, but you could wear this in the evenings as well. Oriana has notes of whipped cream, you have orange blossom, you have raspberry, there's black currant in here, orange notes, it's so pretty. It's very soft and fluffy, very clean. I do love this one as an everyday scent. I dress this up, I dress this down, it has a creaminess to it. Again, this fragrance does smell very comforting for the autumn as well. So I'll be wearing Oriana this autumn. I wanted to answer one of your questions about Parfum de Mali's tassels. They do move for me as well on my bottles. I think I have about eight or nine fragrances in my collection and only one bottle, the tassels do not move. So I find, you can see it's on the side here and then I can move it all the way <laughs> to the other side there. So they do tend to move. This is a timeless classic for me. It's a fragrance I wear all year round, but there's something about this perfume now during the autumn that I love and I'm most drawn to. It's Flower Balm by Victor and Rolf. I absolutely love this sweet floral perfume. This opens up with bergamot. There's some tea notes in here. You have rose and orchid flower in this fragrance as well with a touch of patchouli. I love how sweet this is. It has that woodiness coming from the patchouli. It's strong, it's powerful, it's sweet. A floral bubble that I find incredibly feminine and beautiful. I can dress this up easily and I love it so much. This bottle I have is an older bottle here. As you saw in my recent video, I have bought another fragrance to replace this one. I've got 100ml here because I absolutely love this fragrance. It offers a really nice floral sweetness if that's your style. And if you're still looking for a perfume that is still on the sweet side, you're not ready to commit to those deep, dark, wintry or autumn notes just yet, then this is the one I do recommend. Up next, I have a perfume that I don't hear many people talk about. This is Le Petite Robe Noir. The version I have here is the EDT. This perfume is a cherry-based fragrance and I love it because this cherry offers a freshness. It's bright, it's fresh, and it's easy to wear in the daytime. This opens up with some rose, there's jasmine, there's some amber, musk, a little bit of patchouli, there's even some green apple in here. So it's really fresh, bright, some cherry sweetness to this fragrance. And I love it as a daytime perfume, especially this version is one I would recommend. If you like the La Petite Robe Noir collection, then I do recommend going for this one for the daytime. The Eau de Parfum, to me, that suits the evenings or date nights. It's more romantic, it's deep, it has that licorice and almond deep notes to it, whereas this one is fresh and clean. During the autumn, I tend to want to wear more cherry notes, rich, almost like English puddings. It's like <laughs> during this time, I don't know why. I don't know why this is so, but it's just very English of me. And I think 
of English puddings. When I think of the autumn and I think of the winter here in England, it's just so beautiful. Like England is just beautiful. When you have that cold chill in the air and you have a traditional like English cake or a pudding or a tart loaded of cherries and almonds and custard, it just feels so homely. It's just something so yummy. <laughs> this reminds me of that. The cherry, the bake roll tarts, the biscuits, the teas. I love this one. The next fragrance I have is a fragrance I absolutely love wearing all year round. But because this is like your transitional period, you still want something that's invigorating, clean and bright, smells really fresh and citrusy. It's perfect for daytime wear in the early autumn. So when it's still warm in the mornings and the afternoons, I would be wearing Levant by Omin Jane. This is a beautiful fragrance that has the rose, lots of orange blossom. It's so soft and really feminine. It smells like the start of autumn. It's like you're leaving summer behind, but you're still carrying some of those citrus notes with you. You have the orange blossom, the rose, the bergamot in here. It's really clean and beautiful. And it does dry down to the musk and cedar with amber. It's just a beautiful fragrance. You can wear it as a daytime scent. I could wear this even in the evenings as well. If you're not ready to let go of your fresh florals, and I do recommend this one to wear, it's really beautiful. It's so clean. I have to say, it just smells expensive. It smells like fine perfumery. I just love it. It's really pretty. So that's Levant by Omin Jane. Now, speaking of florals, the next perfume I have is J'adore La. This is the new reformulation of J'adore La. This is all about the florals. It's all about orange blossom. You have rose, there's violet in here. It's really strong and powerful. This new formula performs incredibly well. It has a beautiful sillage. The floors are very strong in here. And when I wear this, it's going to last on your clothes for about two days. So when you spray this on your scarf, that's all you're going to smell. But you really do pick up orange blossom, lots of jasmine and lily of the valley, a touch of rose in here. This to me is elegance. This is your evening in the autumn. You're going out for a meal, you're catching up with friends, after work, something you would want to dress up, but you can wear this as a daytime set. It's absolutely beautiful. If you love florals, try this perfume by Dior. This is very strong, it's rich, it's a bold floral perfume that I think is beautiful. I also think this fragrance is about to turn a year old. This was released September of last year. So I've been loving this fragrance. The last autumn fragrance I have is Miss Dior Parfum. You know I love Miss Dior and I love Dior perfumes and this one I love so much. I'm really enjoying this fragrance now. I've had it for, I would say it's about six months now. And this perfume is all about the strawberry apricot in here. There's some peach notes and there's some patchouli and oak moss. It's so beautiful, really beautiful. It's sweet, floral. You pick up a lot of the strawberry mixed with peach and patchouli. And the patchouli, I would say it's like a fruity, clean patchouli. It's not too earthy, not too dark. I think this is beautiful as a daytime scent. In the autumn, Dior is a perfume I'm going to be wearing as a daytime scent and as an evening scent. This one I would dress up a little bit more. It's a bold perfume and it's quite strong and sweet. So I do recommend Miss Dior if you're looking for something fruity, playful for the autumn. So my darlings, thank you for watching. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know which perfumes you will be wearing. What do you think of my list? Have you tried some of the brands I mentioned earlier? White sandalwood, is that something you would try? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you'll be wearing this autumn and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.